our camp today. And let's do one, two, tone bars, and it's E, A, D, 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 Here we go. Oh, wait, whoa, oh, wait. I'm trying to get my answer. Okay. Now we go. Bring a rhythm and a rhyme. Once on a time, once on a time. Come here with me, come here with me. Voices of the way we go. All right, so you push yourself away. Get back to the beginning position. Here for our show today. Mr. Butterfly stuff. Because today... We are telling the story of Coyote and the Laughing Butterfly. Oh, laughing! This is a Tewa Indian story this, uh, that's supposed to tell the story of why butterflies flutter all around in a crazy fashion. And this was their tale about how that happened. So, are we set? Not yet. Oh, okay. Okay, then go over by the butterfly window. In ancient times, when all the animals could talk, there lived a coyote. Coyote and his wife made their home on top of a grassy mesa surrounded by little hills. A day's journey from their home was a big lake. The water in the lake was so salty that salt crystals collected on the shoreline. Animals came from all around to dig up salt to use for cooking. One morning, Coyote was, as usual, napping in the sun when his wife came to him and said, Coyote, please go to the big salty lake to get salt for me. I need it for cooking. Coyote lazily arose, took a sack, and headed for the big salty lake. He followed the trail along the ridge, then around some small hills through sagebrush, and down into the valley of the big salty lake. Coyote said to himself, what a good coyote I am. I've come all this way in the hot sun. I deserve a short rest. there lived many beautiful butterflies. Beautiful butterflies. One of them flew over Coyote's head and exclaimed, Lulu, what did that thing say? Uh, uh, let's play a trick on them. The butterflies flew down and each took a hold of a hair in Coyote's fur. In this way, they were able to lift him off the ground. Coyote snored loudly. The butterflies heard him as they flew over the mountains and meadows. Finally, they dropped him still asleep back at his home. The butterflies flew in crazy patterns in the sky, laughing all the way back to the meadow. <laughs> When Coyote woke up, he was very puzzled to find himself back home. He wrinkled his furry forehead and wondered how he had gotten there. When his wife saw him yawning beside his empty sack, she scolded, You lazy Coyote, why didn't you get my salt? Coyote said, I promise that I will get the salt in the morning. The next day, Coyote awoke bright and early while the sun was still a big orange ball at the edge of the earth. This time, he ran faster than tumbleweed as it rolls across the desert. 
at a bend in the canyon, he saw a lizard lounging lazily on a rock. Lizard said. Not today, Lizard. I need to go straight to the big salty lake to get salt, Coyote shouted as he hurried past. <laughs> By the time he got to the lake valley, he was so tired he could barely lift his empty sack. He told himself, I've got plenty of time. I'll just take a short now. Now we see I deserve a rest. I deserve a rest. I deserve a rest. When the butterflies heard Coyote's loud snoring, they decided to play their trick again. One by one, they landed on Coyote and lifted him toward white puffy clouds. Wind the wind as it whistled softly through Coyote's fur. He never woke up, not even when he was dropped at home. The butterflies were laughing hard as they flew away, zigzagging across the sunset sky. When Coyote's wife came home, she again found him asleep next to his empty sack. Now she was really mad. She sat down next to him with her empty wooden bowl and sighed very loudly. Coyote awoke and jumped up all at once, rubbing his eyes with his big paws. My wife, I am sure that I went to the lake. My legs are stiff and sore from all this running, he told her. She just shook her head and said, Coyote, I'll give you one more chance. I need the salt by tomorrow. Coyote promised, tomorrow you will have the salt. The next day he woke up and stretched his sore muscles. This time, he decided not to even follow the trail, but to take a shortcut to the lake. He climbed hills and ran across some little streams through sagebrush and willows. When he came to the bank of a wide river, his friend Turtle helped him to get across. Coyote arrived at the big salty lake, more tired than ever. Still determined, he filled his whole sack with salt. My, what a thoughtful coyote I am. My wife will be so proud of me, he thought. He decided he had time for just a short nap. sorry for Coyote. They each grabbed a hair and lifted him once again. But this time, some of them also took hold of threads from his heavy salt sack and lifted that too. 
Once again, they flew over winding canyons and rocky mesas, golden in the evening light. They dropped him and his sack at home, just as the sun was setting. <laughs> as soon as he was awake, Coyote saw that he was at home again and yipped in frustration. <laughs> then he noticed his sack filled with salt. Now he was really puzzled. Nevertheless, he took the sack to his wife and said proudly, I brought you the biggest sack of salt you ever saw. She smiled at him and said, Thank you, Coyote, my husband. I'll start cooking this minute. Coyote's wife cooked until she had made enough food to feed herself and Coyote and all their friends. Badger and Bobcat came to the feast and Roadrunner and Rabbit, and of course, Lizard, Turtle, and all the beautiful butterflies. <laughs> Coyote and his wife shared their food, giving thanks for the harvest. They danced together, nose to nose, Coyote style, as the harvest moon was rising big and orange in the twilight sky. Even today, butterflies remember the trick that was played on Coyote. They flutter high and low, to and fro, laughing too hard to fly straight, all day in the long and yellow sunshine. like this. Ooh. Yeah. And also brought to you by Ta, T T Ta, T T Ta, T T Ta, quarter notes and eight notes. And also brought to you by Coyote and all of his friends. All right, my friends, thank you so much. This has been a fun week and we really worked hard today. This one had lots of little parts. You realize these things when you're in the moment. <laughs> but thank you so much again. Have a wonderful week. And keep looking on the Kathy's Music, um, Kinder Music YouTube channel. We have Tuesdays and Wednesdays show have been posted there. And this one will be up as soon as we can. Yes. Okay? So thank